Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, getting back to Magmama 1 Blind. Just a quick preface here, going to try and be concise. I am going to at least try leaving the comment section open for now. We'll see how it goes. I know, as the kids say, haters gonna hate. However, the comments are still a good resource for constructive feedback, so I do want to leave it open for that reason. Thus, I ask the better part of the audience, if you see someone pointlessly hating, don't feed into it, just let me handle things. Let's not let things blow up out of proportion again. I don't know about you guys, but I'd like to just get back to business as usual, and get back to what we're all here to do, and that's enjoy some video games. So, let's move on with Mr. Curem stage, which may feature a lot of death. Yeah, exhaustion and impatience were working hand in hand for me here. Ah, that feeling when you realize you've been calling one of the judges the wrong name for most of the level you were playing. That's gonna be fun to edit. Alright, so here we are in Mr. Curem's stage. So let's see what we have here. Various wind-based gimmicks from the looks of it. Uh... <laughs> Not sure I was expecting that. That's both silly and kind of frightening. Since we know those don't hurt you. Those are just so bizarre. Well, for as durable as they are, a lot of the judges did use the piranha plants. Wasn't quite as safe from that as I hoped. But they're being nice about energy drops. Okay, you need to go away. case you drop energy, you did not, but I'll take that anyway. Wasn't expecting that. Yes, please. I want that, but it feels very solidly like a trap. If you could fire a magic card downward, but I don't think you can, and that was the wrong button anyway. Well, bugger. The stage thus far does seem pretty solidly put together. It has a lot of different challenges to it. I can respect that. So now we know you're there.
Yeah, you can probably dart in there really fast and get that, but I do not feel very comfortable about that. Didn't quite have time to take that out and then slide. All right. Now I'm just getting clumsy. It's how a lot of things like this go. I get to a point where I just want to get back to where I messed up so I can try again. So then I start messing up on the earlier areas. Okay, that did not work as well as I thought it would. Well, that's a problem. Yeah. That is well and truly a trap. There's probably some safe way to get it, but... I'm not quite sure what it would be. I wasn't expecting to get caught on the corner like that. That time I got thrown off by the energy recharge, that's my fault. hitting the point of exhaustion. I mean, normally I record two, maybe three stages a day on here. This is my fifth for today. Because I was not expecting a marathon. The game had other ideas. then. That fan had opinions. Have a feeling we're going to have a second game over here. Especially if the bombs don't come back, or if they do- what?! Seriously, what? <laughs> I'm all kinds of confused. <laughs> that was just weird. Okay, tanking hits because... That doesn't work. Well then. That is a pretty punishing section. sure how much I agree with this one. Yay for invisible platforms. 
because that bomb's just not coming back, but we are after a while. Those are weirdly picky. Okay, we're back here again, and the bomb's back. I just do not trust that extra life. Okay, if you take it slower, it works. It just really feels like they want you to rush that room, but apparently not. So that was one of those where I was just doing it the wrong way, so it is on me, but it still feels like that room is a bit on the punishing side. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. Don't really know what you were supposed to do to dodge that attack. Because, like, there's nowhere to go. I am so frustrated with myself going back and rewatching this footage. It's so obvious. When you're not in the fight, it's very easy to see what you have to do. Just go to the outside borders of the room, and you should be safe. There don't seem to be any shots there, and Airman's saucer doesn't go all the way to the edge of the room either during that phase. So that's very obviously what I needed to do. I think I was just too preoccupied with the whole thing of one of the wily bosses crashing the game if you lost against them. That and still not knowing that it would have saved my place in the Wily Castle instead of kicking me all the way back to the beginning if the game crashed. Okay, I'm not taking any chances because I know it is a boss somewhere in Wily Castle that is the one that if you lose to it and immediately come back into the room, the game immediately crashes. So I'm not sure which one it was. I was told, but I forget which one it was. Not taking any chances. I don't know how I felt about that one. It just didn't seem like there was anything you could do to dodge some of those attacks during that fight. The next stage, however, is kinda on the huge side, so that's gonna be its own rather lengthy vid next time. A couple of things, though, that I do want to clear up here. First off, all the bosses in the Wily stages were actually made by Pyro. So my quote-unquote complaint about this fight wouldn't particularly reflect on Mr. Kirim, and it was wrong anyway, I was just a dumb here. I like to think I would have caught on to the safe spots if I hadn't been so preoccupied with the crash potential and the misunderstanding of how the Wily Castle reload worked. Second, I didn't say much about the actual stage in the end there. Overall, I think this was a solidly made stage, though that one area with the spikes and count bombs maybe felt a little punishing. It really looks like it wants you to slide through there, but that's a really bad idea. 
Or maybe I'm just interpreting intent wrong there. Quite possible. I'm still not quite sure what's up with the magical disappearing bomb or the kind of odd hitboxes on the repurposed blockies, though. Anyway, that's all for this one. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.